Sheehan syndrome is a condition which occurs when the anterior pituitary gland is damaged due to significant blood loss after childbirth. In this condition, the pituitary gland is unable to secrete gonadotrophins. There is pituitary necrosis following massive obstetric hemorrhage which is the most common cause in women. The diagnosis is done by taking appropriate history and by doing certain biochemical tests. There is decreased estradiol, FSH, LH and other pituitary deficiencies like decreased thyroid stimulating hormone and decreased adrenocorticotropic hormone. The treatment is replacement of deficient hormones. When we study the pathophysiology of Sheehan syndrome in depth, we come to know that the cells of anterior pituitary responsible for FSH and LH production are no longer viable. Thus, the remnant pituitary will be unresponsive to increase in endogenous hormones or exogenous pulsatile GnRH. The basal layer of endometrium is shed in Sheehan syndrome. Sheehan syndrome not only causes infertility but it also causes secondary amenorrhea. The pregnancy-related conditions causing secondary amenorrhea include first of all the Sheehan syndrome and secondly the Asherman syndrome. In order to diagnose Sheehan syndrome, we do hormonal assay and that include serum FSH LH levels, serum prolactin, thyroid function tests like TSH. And how to do the interpretation of hormone assays? When the results of hormone assays are interpreted carefully, these can diagnose or rule out most of the causes of secondary amenorrhea. Raised FSH and LH level suggests menopause. Increased LH and FSH ratio is suggestive of polycystic ovarian disease, although we use the Rotterdam criteria for its diagnosis. Raised prolactin level is either drug-related or points to a pituitary adenoma. Low FSH, LH, prolactin and thyroid function tests indicate the Sheehan syndrome. Abnormal thyroid function tests are seen in thyroid dysfunction. How to do the management of patients with Sheehan syndrome? The patients with Sheehan syndrome undergo successful ovulation with daily injections of HMG which is a combination of 75 inter international unit FSH and 75 inter international unit LH. It is prescribed for an average length of 10 to 12 days which directly stimulates the follicular genesis to create the mature follicles and oocytes. Now, this picture very beautifully explains the whole scenario of Sheehan syndrome. Here you can see that the excessive PPH causes hypovolemic shock and reduced blood supply to the anterior pituitary gland. It results in ischemic necrosis of anterior pituitary. So this postpartum pituitary necrosis is after childbirth excessive bleeding and the postpartum hemorrhage. So there is hypopituitarism anterior pituitary dysfunction which is more pronounced and secondary dysmenorrhea is one of its features along with the breast atrophy. The reduced prolactin or no lactation is the earliest sign of it. Later on there is hypertrophied pituitary resulting in weakness, asthenia, premature aging and hair loss. Now this is the CT scan of the patient showing enlarged pituitary with a rim enhancement and no internal enhancement. Findings are suggestive of non-hemorrhagic pituitary in form that is Sheehan syndrome. Now these are the different brands of uh, aminotropins for the management of the Sheehan syndrome. These women undergo successful ovulation with the daily injections of HMG which is a combination of 75 international unit FSH and 75 international unit LH for an average length of 10 to 12 days which directly stimulates the follicular genesis to create the mature follicles and oocytes. What is aminotropin? It is a hormonally active medication for the treatment of fertility disturbances and also called human menopausal gonadotrophin. In fact, the menotrophins are extracted from the urine of postmenopausal women. 
सो थैंक यू सो मच दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट शी हंसन जो मैनेज मैनेजमेंट सब्सक्राइब ऑन ऑप्स एंड गाइनी अल्लाह हाफिज़